Hello there. In this video, we're going to take a look at a new template that Billbox added called Adventure. And let's click on it, wait for it to be downloaded. And this is the start scene that is set up. Let's click play. We can use the joystick to walk around and there's a door, but we can't go. We need a key. All the objects are dynamic, so we can bump into them and move them around. Let's pick up the key. Got it. And let's go to the door. And now we when we get close to the door, the door opens and we can walk out. Let's see how we can add infinite number of rooms. Let's start by positioning our start and end points in the correct spot. We'll put the start point at X10 and we need to rotate it at 90 degrees and Y and Z will be zero. Let's find the end point and go to negative 10 X, Y and Z at zero and rotate 90 degrees at Y axis. Now let's select the scene and click D to duplicate the scene. Let's rename it to one. In scene one, what we want to do is remove our character and we want to remove the back wall. And let's click play. And as we can see now, we have infinite number of rooms. Let's create more duplicates and change up the rooms a little bit. Now let's click play and see what we have. Let's pick up the key and go through all the rooms that we've created. We don't have to pick up a key for each door. Looks like we can pick up one key for four doors. And it's due to how the key and door mechanism works. When you pick up a key, a event gets sent out and all the doors that are created in the world already receive that event and unlock. You could fix that issue, but we're not going to do that in this video. Let's actually go to our empty room and increase the size of it so we can demonstrate how you can do that. Let's go to the top view and select the floor that we want to copy. We'll select all six tiles, click the W key to copy upward and then we can move them. Now let's move the wall back. And we also need to close it up and we'll need to put the wall on the other side too. Okay, now we've expanded the room. Let's solo out the scene by selecting scene three and clicking on S. You can also right click and select solo mode. Let's click play. Let's grab the key, open the door. And now here's our big empty room. One thing to keep in mind with this gameplay is if you go backwards, your rooms get removed. One way to solve that is by making sure that in your gameplay, you won't be able to go back. For instance, you could lock the door after you pass through it. That's one option, but that's just one thing to keep in mind. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel and click on the like button and we'll see you next time.